In less than a minute, polls will close across Victoria and counting will soon get underway to determine whether Dan Andrews will win a third term for his Labor government. Victorians have been through some tough and testing times since they last went to the ballot box in 2018. Melbourne became one of the most locked down cities in the world as COVID upended politics as usual. Now at first, the pandemic favoured incumbents, but this year that all changed. The government's dumped at the South Australian and federal elections. Anger at the prolonged lockdowns remains in parts of the state. Tonight we'll find out whether that anger is enough to threaten Labor's majority. Our Chief Election Analyst Anthony Green is standing by, ready to help you understand the results as they come in, booth by booth, across the state. We have reporters monitoring all the key contests too. They'll bring you analysis from the seats that will decide tonight's result. Live from the ABC Election Centre in Melbourne, I'm David Spears. And I'm Tamara O'Dine. Welcome to Victoria Votes. Hello and welcome to Victoria Votes. Polls have now closed across the state and counting is getting underway. The opinion polls have the government ahead, but is that lead going to be in the seats where Labor needs it? Matthew Guy's coalition has a mountain to climb if it's to snatch majority government for the first time since 2010. To set the scene like only he can, let's bring in the ABC's Chief Election Analyst, Anthony Green, who's at his trusty touchscreen here at the ABC's Election Centre. Anthony, where do we start tonight? Well, let's start looking at the Chamber and the 88 seats of the Legislative Assembly. Now, if we look at the current position, and there has been some changes since the last election, which I'll explain in a moment, but Labor starts at 56, three Greens, two others, six Nationals, Liberals, 21. Uh, there's been a major redistribution, of course, some adjustments of seats. If you see a, a seat tonight with an asterisk after it, it's changed party. There's been a few resignations. So that's our starting position. And basically, Labor can survive a uniform swing of up to 7%. The Coalition need a swing of between 10 and 11% to get enough seats for government. But I have the suspicion we're not going to see a very uniform swing tonight. Could be choppy. Let's take a look at our tally room board now. Here it is, every seat displayed uh, over on the board. And through the night, it'll give us the state of play. Our starting point the, are the results from 2018 and taking into account the redistributions Anthony just referred to there. So the ALP's on the left of the screen, the Coalition on the right, and the current crossbench is in the middle. Now, each party's most marginal seats are towards the centre of the screen. The safest seats are out on the edge. But let's wipe the board clean now. And as the night unfolds, these seats will start to light up again with the colour of the winning party. So the Coalition will need to start taking seats from the ALP side if they have a, to have a chance. And the more blue we end up seeing there, the closer they'll be coming to forming government. Joining us tonight on the panel, Deputy Premier Jacinta Allen.